types of tax systems types of a tax system and uh, in this particular regard before we move to the types of a tax system we need to ask ourselves what is a tax system and therefore we can define tax system to mean um, something very simple I can have like a, a tax tax here I can have government here or K R A. I can also have here taxpayers or persons and I can start by defining tax then I come to tax system so what is tax tax we can simply define it as amount that is paid by taxpayers to the government and obviously you know that the government is leasing that money purposely to execute some of its functions like a development provision of public services and such so tax is amount paid by taxpayers who are persons these persons are either individuals or companies they make this payment to our government and again I have to clarify and say you will not see the government correcting tax simply because the government has established an agent known as Kenya Revenue Authority and Kenya Revenue Authority is therefore an agency established by the government for the purpose of raising the tax uh, revenue so tax is therefore amount paid by taxpayers to the government or amount corrected by uh, by the government from the taxpayers with that again i can introduce the word system here system so now what is a tax system a tax system therefore is a system that is followed by taxpayers when paying tax to the government or a system that is followed by the government when correcting tax from the taxpayers and that is simply how we can define what it means by uh, a tax uh, system uh, then I can move to my I can go back to my area that is the types of the tax system so we having known that uh, what is a tax system we need to know now the types of the same uh, we have two major types of tax systems that is a single tax system that is number one single tax system and number two we have multiple tax system multiple tax system these are the major tax systems that we can have um, a country can put uh, any place so let's start with the single tax system single single tax system system and uh, sometimes you can find also a school of thought referring to this particular system as unified 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 tax system as you know uni means one so unified means unified tax system also can be referred to as a single tax system so what is a single tax system a single tax system is a kind of a tax system whereby there is only one tax that they need to be paid by taxpayers to the government i repeat a single tax system simply means a situation whereby only one tax need to be paid by taxpayers uh, to the government for instance we can have like income tax only paid to our government or the government can implement a tax like VAT only paid to our government so a single tax system simply means in few words one tax that is paid by taxpayers uh, to our government uh, this particular uh, kind of a tax system if a country is operating it such a country can be 
experiencing maybe some merit or demerit of the same. So we can see maybe what are some of the maybe merits of a single tax system. Merit, merit of a single tax system. Merits of a single tax system. We are talking of a tax system whereby only one tax need to be paid by taxpayers. I expect to see that uh, if a country implement such kind of a tax system, then it means the taxpayers will easily understand this kind of a tax system. Therefore, number one, we can say it is easy to understand. Easy to understand. And it means it is easily understood by the taxpayers and also by tax officers. Remember tax officers, because they are handling tax matters, they will also require something that they can understand so that they can be able to, to continue with it uh, effectively and uh, maybe efficiently. So this particular tax is, because it is only one tax that needs to be paid, then it will be easily understood by the tax officers and also by the tax payers. Again, I can see another merit. Number two, we are likely to experience uh, low levels of tax evasion. Low levels of tax evasion. You see, only one tax needs to be paid. And therefore, the taxpayers or the members of the general public may not feel exploited by this particular tax system. So with one tax being paid, so chances are very high these people will outrightly comply. Another thing I also see that uh, this particular system can enhance, enhance tax compliance, compliance level, can enhance tax compliance level. So what do we mean by this? Uh, because less tax is paid, eh, you will find that uh, like in our country, Kenya, people will feel that uh, they, will, they will be ready to pay. There is that readiness to pay. And that one enhances now the level of tax compliance. So where people feel exploited by the tax system, so you find that uh, they do not comply. And therefore, in that particular case, then tax compliance goes down. But uh, if they feel that uh, they are not exploited, then to some extent, uh, those people will feel that motivation and they will increase the tax compliance uh, level uh, in the country. The other thing that we find is, eh, in our country, Kenya, one challenge that uh, we face is tax compliance. People do not comply. Why do they not comply? Many people feel in Kenya they are overtaxed. Why? Our government, we are going to see later, it has implemented a multiple tax system. And therefore, Kenyans feel that they are overtaxed, so they do not comply, and therefore the level of tax compliance uh, goes down. Another advantage that I can also see with this, that is uh, number four, it can enhance enhance uh, or encourage or encourage investment 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 you see in this particular case eh, if i'm supposed to pay only one tax then it means out of my income i will be left with enough money to save to and consume and maybe i invest and therefore if I have a high propensity to invest, then and the government is just getting a small tax from me, then that means I'm likely to invest as much as possible. So with that, and again, the final one also, the last one, number five, it can help to create self employment employment 
it can help to create self employment how the moment you allow people now to save more and they invest money then it means that uh, such a person will be able to save uh, to raise that money and construct maybe like a building and when we have such a building then you lease it to people then people can start businesses in such cases and therefore it means single tax system it can give a, a big space to investors so that they can save more money they do development and in the process they create a uh, self employment uh, uh, for our people uh, now uh, those are some of the advantages or merits of a single tax system and as you know if something has some merits then the disadvantages can also be experienced eh? so let's also see some of the disadvantages of a single uh, tax system disadvantages dimerits dimerits of a single tax system dimerits of a single tax system what are some of the problems can we experience with this kind of a tax system 